automated email marketing without a monthly payment? Well, let me show you and charge that's on a lifetime deal right now. So let's go check it out. Automating your email marketing campaigns doesn't have to be difficult. On this video, I'm going to show you with Encharge how you can automate your email campaigns super easily. Now, right now, Encharge is on a lifetime deal, so I definitely recommend that you check it out. Plus, they have a 60-day money-back guarantee, so in case you don't like it, you can go ahead and refund it. And also be aware that the lifetime deal won't be available for long, so grab it right now. Okay, so let's jump into my Ench Charge panel. Now, there's several things going on in Ench Charge, especially with your summary. Once you start launching your campaigns, you'll have all the available data right here to satisfy your needs and obviously escalate your email marketing. Now, the idea is to automate email marketing. And to do that, we're going to go into flows. So in flows, we're going to get started with a brand new flow because I want to show you how easy this is. Let's go into add a flow and you can get started with flows with templates or you can start from scratch. Now, I would recommend starting from templates because it would be the easiest way to have something really complex built really easily by just modifying a few steps. And let me show you an idea right here. But we are going to start from blank. OK, but if you add one of these, you'll have all these available settings that are practically already set up that you can just click and modify to your own needs. Anything that you click on will have the settings that you can start tweaking. OK, but in this case, we're going to get started with a brand new flow. So let's go back into add flows. We're going to start from scratch. And the way that this works is practically like conditional logic. But it's really easy. OK, so first we're going to need a trigger and the trigger is going to be something that's going to happen first in order to do the next steps. So what's going to happen first? And in this case, you got a set of triggers right here that you can bring inside of here. For example, a time trigger would be something that you want to have something pre set up and you'll trigger it in such date that will work in that sense. Or you can do enter a segment and that would be, for example, if someone fills out a form, if someone purchases something on Stripe, then you bring them inside of event charge and you add them into a segment. And as soon as that segment is added, that is going to trigger the workflow. So each single time that a customer, a lead, a client, etc., gets added to a segment or changes the segment that is triggered to this one, it's going to start the flow. So you're kind of getting the idea of how this is going to work. Okay. And you have all these available, available triggers to get this going, even and charge form. So you can build the form inside of and charge and use that as a trigger. In this case, I am going to do, for example, a tag is added. Okay. So let's bring it inside of here. And this is going to be the trigger. And how would this work in a use case? Let's just say that when someone purchases a product, you automatically tag that person with the tag that you can designate right here and you have several available tags and I'll say a customer. Well, that is going to trigger this flow. OK, and it's just an idea. You have all these available options for the triggers, even with WooCommerce, with Stripe, HubSpot, Salesforce, Paddle. There's several options available here, but including my favorite one, which is a webhook with a webhook. You can practically grab anything out there that is going to trigger this out. OK. So once you set your trigger, you want to go into the next flow, which is the actions. What is going to happen when the tag is added? So a customer is created. What's going to happen? OK, so first off, what I want is to get an email notification or send someone an email notification. Now, this could be, for example, I can send it, send the recipient here and I'll just say test at test.com subject um, item sold. OK, and this could be a message to the provider. Maybe you are a drop shipper and you want to notify someone that someone something was purchased. So I'll say um, so I'll say item purchased and just simple message. OK, so that is going to trigger and send the email really fast when that tag is a change to customer. OK, the next thing I want to do, and in this case, I want to wait because I'm going to send out an email to the customer. But I don't want to send it right away. I want to do it in a few days. So in this case, by default, it's set to one and you could set minutes, hours or days. In this case, I'm going to say seven days and I can set a specific time right here. But in this case, I'll keep it simple. I'll go ahead and save this. And now I want to send an email. Right. So let's go ahead and connect this. Let's select it for setup. I'm going to select an email. And in this case, I can use one of the emails that I've previously built. I can use an email that's previously built by Encharge as a template. 
In this case, for example, I can use this one. There we go. It brought it inside of here. I can go ahead and create a brand new email if I don't want to use one of the ones available from charge. And I can set this here. People can receive emails more than once. So that means that this can get repetitive if the tag is added as a customer every single time. So each time that the trigger is actioned and it's the same email, it will send the email over and over again. You might want to keep that off, but it will depend if you want to do it every single time that someone purchases in this case. Okay. And do you want to track replies? And obviously, yes, we do. Here we go. That is now set up. So now we have a basic flow for the automation. Now, depending on the trigger is how this is going to get started every single time. Now we can go ahead and add more to this flow. For example, I can do A-B testing in case I don't want to just straight off send an email. I can just go ahead and end the flow. I can do a lead score. I can send an SMS if I connect it to Twilio, send a message on Intercom, MailChimp, HubSpot, Salesforce, archive a person. I can also remove the tag or add a tag. So for example, I can also add another tag here that could say in this case for uh, opened. Here we go. Let's go ahead and save this. And if that is open, I am going to, in this case, I don't have a tag specifically for this, but there could be a tag for um, customer interacted, okay, or interacted. And that would be a tag that would be added if that person opened the email or clicked on it or did something with it. And you can be adding those tags to uh, further nurture those leads and understand how they've been uh, behaving. And that helps me take decisions in the business, okay? Now that's for the actions and there's also filters that you can use here in case you want to check the email, check conditions in a segment, et cetera, has a tag. And these could be filters before even starting this. So it depends. You can use filters or not. Those are optional and you can decide if to use them or not. Okay. So basically it's super easy to get started with these. You can create the flows that you need depending on the plan that you are on and just trigger these. Now be aware that right now they are deactivated and you need to activate them in order for this to actually work. Okay. So do consider that build your flows for different situations, but it's just super easy to automate the flows here on end charge. Now, can you do more within charge? Of course, it's not just about email marketing. You can also do forms. You can view the events, the metrics, etc. So if you want to build a form that you want to send to your clients or maybe embed it on a website, you can do so with this. So if I add a new form right here, I can say a uh, new form in the folder, no folder in this case, let's go ahead and create the form. And the idea of this form is that you can actually set a flow to get triggered by the form, this specific form. So set the elements right here. Each one of the elements has the settings available. You can add more fields. You can add, for example, I don't know, something like uh, the company. We also want the, the website for this and just add whatever questions you want to add right here. And you can also change settings for the button that could say subscribe instead of submit a success message. You can go ahead and change it here, change style to change the colors to your branding, the options available right here. You can do a show success page or you can go ahead and redirect them to a page, maybe a sales page with a coupon or something like that. You can add a tag to someone who fills this out, maybe a tag that says um, from form then you know it's going to come from that form or end charge form or the sales form, etc. And tags really help you designate how you're going to use the flows later on. OK, you can send an internal email, send an email to contact. And once you're good to go, you can go ahead and save this. And then you have the options to integrate. So as I mentioned before, you can integrate this on a website by embedding the code or you can go ahead and just share the link. If you go ahead and share that link, it's going to work right now. You don't need to embed it on a website. You don't need to have a website and it's just super easy to use that. Okay. And once your form is ready and already been submitted by customers, clients, fans, etc., you'll find the form submissions right here. You'll find the details right here from the elements that are tied to the form. So full name, email, company, website, and submitted ad details will be here in each time that the form is filled out. Okay. So that's really easy. Plus, if you don't want to use the automation and you want to use this manually and you want to do broadcast, that's also available here. So if I go to broadcast in terms of email, I can go ahead and start broadcast by filling out the details and I'll just say new here and I can send out a broadcast immediately or scheduled. In this case, you can select the segments or just every single contact that you have. In this case, I'll do all people, which is just me. I can have the option for drag and drop editor or a simple editor. In this case, I'll use drag and drop. In this case, I'll set the subject. I'll leave it as it is. 
use something really nice right there from email and then the actual email. So in this case, this is the content and there's all these available options to add to your email, including content blocks, body images and images are just drag inside of here and they're good to go. For example, for the logo, I'll just bring it inside of here and it loads it in really quickly. I can upload my own and it's just super easy and practical to, with the drag and drop builder here from in charge. Okay. And once you're good to go and you're done, go ahead and save and close. You can go ahead and save anyway. In this case, I haven't done some setup. This is just a demo account. Okay. So here's a preview of the email. If I like it, I'm good to go. I'm going to go ahead and continue. I have the option for AB testing. If in case I want to use another email for the testing, in this case, I'm going to keep it off, but it's a great idea to use AB testing, especially when you have a large database to send out emails. Okay. So right now I can go ahead and send the broadcast right now, that email that was just created, sent out, or I can schedule it based on a specific date. So I decide the date and time, and I can go ahead and schedule that broadcast really easily. So that's in charge, several tools available inside of one, because you're going to get all the dashboard details for the analytics, the metrics, the managed tags, custom fields that you're going to create once you start setting this up, setting up your emails, etc. That will take you some time, but it's things that you have to take care of to start off your email campaigns. So that is in charge. Don't forget that right now it's on a lifetime deal and it will be gone in a few days. So definitely grab it now while it lasts. And remember this that 60 day money back guarantee. So in case you are not sure, I would recommend buying it, testing it out. And if you don't like it, you can go ahead and refund it. So buy it with all the calm uh, that you're going to get your money back in case you don't like it. Well, I hope you like this video and that is a wrap.